Hey guys, it's share. Today, I'm going to show you the guard pass from headquarters. Headquarters is getting popular position. People like to use a lot to stay in a good range. It's not too far and not to cross on an opponent. Then you can easily change the distance and angle. In this video, I'm going to show you two types of guard passes from that position. All right, let's just start with the entry for headquarter. Now, one of the major way is from De La Hiva. As you can see this, he grabs my heel. Then, it's a, bit, it's a bit difficult for me to change the distance. If he grabs my heel, I cannot go far away. Even though I want to get close to, I got blocked with his feet. So first, I need to take it off. Then, this situation, either he makes car grip or not, you can do the same thing. So let me just try with no car grip. That's going to be easier for me to stay in base. Anyway, so this. I cannot press it down at this position, press the legs down, since I'm just using my arms against the legs, which is like really difficult to do. So from now, I take a step back. I want to see how I change the angle slightly. Then the time I do the action, I want to make sure that I broke his shin. Then it's be closer to his ankles, right? Not around his knees like this. This is great grips. I'll show you later how to grab this one, but in this phase, in order to take off his feet, I want to grab his shin like this. Then from now, I take a step back. Like keeping his ankle shins at the same spot with a stiff arm. I don't literally need to press down with my arm. I just want to make stiff arm. Then as I change the position like, like this, I can take it off. This is where I like to do that. Then from this, I want to get to the headquarter. But as you can see, I'm just like, covering top part of the shins with my arms. So from now, I just want to repress as if I'm sitting down on his ankle like this. Then I shut the other side leg as well. See? This is not tight enough. If I just only stay here, Henry can remake really a reverse like, uh, De La Hiva like this. Then I'm in trouble. That's why until I sit down on his ankle, I want to keep his left leg away like this. Then let me show you how to make base basing. As you can see that I stay below his belly line, which is very important not to overcommit. In terms of primary pressure, yes, I want to drive my way forward as much as possible. Then I can put the pressure with using my body weight, which means I'm overcommitting him. Once he can elevate my hips, he's be able to throw like this, especially from this position. He wants to keep the car grip. Then once he grabs, he can easily throw me forward. Then I lost the base in the posture. He recovers the position like this. So it's really common. That's why. In this situation, I want you to stay below your partner's belt line. So ideally, around here. See, literally, I'm sitting down on his ankle. It's not necessary for me to drive my weight on him. Like this. Really nice and easy. Even though he grabs my collar, it's not a big problem. Can you pull me, try Something like that. It's pretty difficult to do that since I don't lean forward. Then once I clear his ankle lines, now I want to make a flame around his knee and on his upper body. Then this time, I want to start with my right hand. So from this position, I grab his car like this. The car grip needs to be below his chest line. Otherwise, I'm exposing my arm like this. Like Otavio Souza or like some of the top players, they can do straight arm lock by raising hips up like this. So in order to avoid, the grip needs to be a little lower like this. Like right above his belly. Then once I set up, I want to connect my knee and elbow like this. Then this time, I want to make sure that I get my elbow outside my knee like this. Some people like to go inside like this, but in order to avoid De La Hiva hack, I want to go like this, like a shallow space down. So physically, Henry cannot find a space to really make De La Hiva. So this is how I like to do on this side. Then other hand, then I just like modify the Lucas Lepri he likes to do. So this time I want to grab inside his knee, like a pants grip here. Then I slightly open it like this. Then during the time I do the movement, like I showed you, I'm sitting down on his ankle, which means he cannot pull his right leg. Even though he wants to move his knee, he cannot do that because of this grip, like this. So this is a position very reliable. Once I set up, Henry can no longer change the angle easily. Even though he tries to resist something, the car grip, I can keep it. Then all the time, I stay tight inside the frame. So this is how I like to set up headquarters. Then once I set up, this is a really reliable position for me. Then I'm initiating an attack. Henry is more like a reacting for my attack or like actions. Then most of the time, when he finds it difficult to remake 
Stella Heaver or like pouring this leg out, he wants to switch his grips. Either he's just like her, no, let me try that. The CC finds difficult to remake Della Heaver or pouring this leg out. He wants to change the plan. So initiation, one of the major things what he likes to do is this. He's going to swing his leg, yes, like this, like making a half lasso. Then he wants to kick to cut my grip like this. Or once he makes space here, he's gonna remake De La Hiba from this position as well, like that. So against the movement, you just wanna use your el shoulder or elbow, they're chasing his tie. Even though he tries to do, we can block him like this. Then we can avoid that one. So plus he wants to switch his grip as well from my heel to my sleeve. Then he starts changing the angle to make lasso like this, right? So against this movement, we want to do the counter knee cut. So first I block his leg with this one like this. Then you need to catch the perfect timing in order to do this technique. So what we like is pretty simple. We just want to switch the side to get knee cut at the right timing. As you can see that he still grabs my heel. That's why it's a bit difficult for me to go to the other side. Even though there's a way, like a major way to go like this, I don't trust this one that much. That's why I just want to wait for the time he raise my heel grip. That's the situation I explained. So here I make really good control. Then the time he raises, yes, this situation, now I switch. Then I make the perfect baseball knee cut. Then I don't forget to make the frame as well like this, which is very important to do that. If you just posture up, open your elbow, and we can easily make the frame. Then I can no longer do knee cut. So that's why in this situation, I make a really tight frame, like keeping my arm at the same spot like this. Then, for the movement, I pull up the sleeve. Yeah, it's like a regular knee cut grips. Then from this position, I want to gather pass. Then the time I do, I want to make another frame. I start driving my elbow. So I use my right arm in multiple ways. I still use my collar grip like this to keep his upper body tight. Then I drive my elbow like this. By the time I do the main, that's less space. Henry can no longer find a space to get knee shield. Then, if he's super flexible, he may be swinging like that way, but probably he cannot do. Anyhow, so you just want to avoid it by moving like this. Then, don't forget to pull the sleeve. This is a great way to keep him flat on the ground. Then, all I do is pretty simple. I just slide out, then I complete the guard pass. Either I end up in upper body control or hip to hip. I'm not gonna explain that much detail today, since I just wanted to explain how to get into Nika from it. Yeah, sometimes he may grab my car when he plays the leg heaver against headquarters. So in that case, you just wanna simply pull out the elbow, which is better than grabbing the elbow sleeve like this. This is more leverage to keep him on the ground. I drive my elbow, then I do knee cut. If it's possible, I want to do the last one. Just like the time he lose my heel grip, I went to knee cut. But this time, he's just like keeping it here. And then he's more like staying here in this position. I want to encourage him to react like this. So I use the grip like this. Then in this situation, I start sticking my elbow behind his hamstring to expose the space. So here, I block him like I showed you. Then I don't allow him to swing his leg or remake the, the leg heel like this. So for that movement, I just wanna stick my elbow in like this, see that? Against the movement, yeah, he wants to react for sure. He just wanna find the space by slightly pulling his knee to his side like this, which means I'm making more space. As you can see that, there's a little gap here. So once I finally, from this position, I switch my grip. I will make single under. Then I want to do them decent order. So the first, I get my elbow in. Then as soon as I get, get my elbow into secure space, I circle my hand like this. Then from this position, in two steps to make good frame. First, I grab his collar and then I use my shoulder. I have made a perfect frame. As you can see that this is the same structure as single under. Then this knee grip is gonna be a great advantage to the most of the time, people like to play headquarter. They like to grab outside or the edge. But in this particular session, I wanted to grab this one because this is gonna be a great way, like I showed you, come to the knee cap or a single under, more potential to do. So here, I stick, then one. 
I start pressing down his leg like this. Then from this position, in this type of single under, you don't need to make distance. It's more like making him compromise. I show you once. Once I sit up, I just spin down the far side leg, I close my elbow. Then I wrist connect it around his left leg. I want to see that, this situation. Then as I pin it down, pin down his right leg, it's gonna be harder for him to keep my leg around here. He can no longer chase it. So after you go like this, I slowly take a step. Then I use my chest, so it may be a little pressure for you. So from this one, I start closing my elbow. Look, he starts being really like pressure, but I just wanna keep it tight more and more. And once I come to the side, I use my chest to clear out like this. See, I still make the perfect frame. Shoulder and knee, that's a diagonal side on his body, which means it's not easy for him to turn to my side. He, turn, he can't do that. Even though he wants to roll to the other side, not easy as well. So I can even choose the next technique. If I do the gallery pass, I switch the car grip to cross face, and then I step in a position. If I want to do the back take, so this time it's more like encouraging me to escape using my chest. So on the front of the pass. This, then when he escapes to the turtle, yeah, the back take. I can simply make seat bell or from this position, just fall on the mat, then twist the heck. That's what I like to do that. Then there's no shortcut. If I try to shortcut, yeah, like he does, he's able to make her behind my knee, then I can no longer move. So what I like to do is this, I pin down, then I move. Even though he grabs my heel, it's not a big problem. The regular single under, we like to just throw, like tripod place the wall, but this one is more like a staying tight. Like making a tight frame on your right side, like connecting the knee and the elbow, around his hip bone, like this. Then even though he tries to push me back, I'm making better frame than he has. That's why I just keep it. Like I can say, I can stay here all day. Then I just compromise him. Then after I come to the side, either I make cross space or encourage to go to the turtle. Then I do back take. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please just hit the like button, give us any comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Also, we have just launched channel membership. If you're happy with supporting our channel, that will be great help to create high quality contents. You can find a link to join in the description. I'll you guys catch the next one. Bye.